<laughs> the graveyard shift is always the quietest, or so I thought. My name is Alex, and I work as a delivery driver for a pizza place. One night, as I was about to wrap up, the phone rang. Jake, who took the order, gave me a strange look as he wrote it down. This is the last one, he said, his voice seemingly tinged with a tremor. The address was on the outskirts of town, in an old abandoned factory district. We didn't normally deliver there, but Jake insisted, muttering, the customer is always right. As I set off, the sky was pitch black and clouds obscured the full moon. My GPS guided me through narrow, broken roads. There wasn't a soul around, just me and the rumble of my motorcycle. Reaching the factory, I entered through a rusty gate. Inside, it was silent and dark, only my own breath audible. I'll have to use my phone's light, I thought, but my phone screen abruptly went black and wouldn't turn back on. Cold sweat prickled my skin. Just then, I felt a distant presence watching me. I quickened my pace and called out, Pizza delivery! My voice echoed into the emptiness. No response. Then a sudden shadow darted from one corner to another. My heart leaped into my throat. Probably just an animal, I tried to reassure myself, but something felt deeply wrong. At that moment, an old elevator door creaked open automatically. Instinctively, I stepped inside and the elevator began to move unexpectedly. When it stopped, the sight before me froze me in my tracks. In a dark room, there was a table illuminated by a flickering lamp. On the table, a dusty pizza box as if it had been there for years and a note beside it. I've been expecting you, Alex. The shock of seeing my name there left me paralyzed. In the corner of the room, two points of light gleamed in the darkness. Eyes. And then I heard a deep, raspy voice. Thank you for the delivery. A shiver ran through my entire body, and all I could think of was escape. I pressed the elevator button, but it wouldn't budge. I had no weapon, just an empty pizza box. As the dark figure slowly approached, I threw the box at it in desperation and started running. While sprinting towards the door, all the lights in the factory suddenly flickered, creating a hysterical atmosphere. Reaching the door, I pushed with all my might and finally burst outside. I jumped onto my motorcycle and sped away, never looking back. Once home, I quit my job and never went near that area again. No one believed my story, but I can never forget what happened that night. Now I'm afraid to go out at night. Even the slightest sound outside my house terrifies me. I never learned what was waiting for me in that factory, but one thing is clear. Some orders should never be delivered. <laughs>